Hey guys, I realized it had been uh, pretty long, I think like over a year since I've done a uh, like an update both on the channel and then kind of the business side of things. So I just wanted to do, it shouldn't be a super long video, just kind of going over how things are um, work-wise and then what's going on with the channel, where I see it going in the future, and obviously asking for your input as well. Um, before I jump into that, of course, if you haven't uh, joined the Discord, the link will be in the description. But the first thing I wanted to talk about is probably the biggest change that um, has happened to the business and me also personally. So as if you've been following me for any time now, the big change that happened like two, three years ago when I moved into uh, this office is we set up a full, granted not a massive, but a full uh, assembly line for uh, at the start it was just surface mount and then with the selective solder we had a full through hole line as well. And I'm going to make a video going more in depth on kind of what uh, lessons were learned and uh, go into more detail in another video. But suffice to say that it was um, very educational. Um, it, it definitely, I learned more than I ever could have imagined. It ended up being a great experience, but I decided uh, about the first of the year, second month, uh, January, February, that I was going to no longer continue with that. So we still have the assembly line and we're still using it for um, like prototypes and like first run uh, up to maybe 10, 20 boards. But any more than that, we're kind of just pitching them off to some contacts that we have. It became not why I got into uh, starting my own business. It's it's more of just a factory. It's a machine that you just have to keep running where what I love to do is either YouTube, I love teaching, or I love designing where just assembling boards all day, it, it wasn't for me. And obviously I had some great people working here um, who were working on the line. Um, it was definitely at, at times uh, by far the most uh, stressful and Kind of draining uh, endeavor that I've ever done and like I said uh, at the end of the day it all turned out fine financially it ended up paying for itself there's really no no issues there and the plan is to keep all the equipment for the time being I don't know how long that um, will last if we do get rid of it but for now just kind of status quo but again I'll uh, I'll go into this more detail in a uh, in a further video the second thing I wanted to talk about is more with the channel and the USB hub uh, project and just projects in general. So that project um, definitely was a little bit more involved. I mean, I knew it was going to be involved, but I I don't know how many hours I have into it. And that's that's kind of been why I've been posting videos as infrequently as I have been. Thankfully, now that I'm on the layout side, those are going to be primarily live streams and it shouldn't interfere with any of the uh, normal content because those uh, I can, the live streams I do on the fly. So it doesn't take any editing or uh, work leading up to it. But projects in the future, and this is something I have given a ton of thought and I've talked to a bunch of people on Discord about. And what I think the plan is going to be moving forward is any projects they will be exclusively done on a live stream it makes it a lot easier for me editing or I don't have to edit if you don't want to watch you don't have to and then what I will do is from the live streams I'll figure out or from the projects if either people have a lot of questions or if I find something on there that seems kind of tricky or interesting I'll go ahead and make a full-fledged video on that. So the people who like the tips and tricks or just specific uh, how to do X by doing Y or something like that, you can still watch that. So I think it's it's kind of the, the best of both worlds. Uh, and what started all of this is the viewership of the projects versus some of my other content. 
it's just really, really uh, a wide divide. The non-project videos are way more popular. So that's why I am thinking of doing it this way. Let me know if you have any thoughts or if you don't like that idea. But from what I've gathered, that seems to be kind of the best, uh, the best of both worlds. So then for future content, uh, I've got a few, actually quite a few different videos planned. But uh, near term is going to be, and this is, again, something I've been talking about a lot in the Discord, make sure you join, um, is a lot of the stuff that we do for work and we've done in the past and I do personally is EMC review and compliance. But what's kind of funny about that is, and we've done just in this past year, two, I think, two or three uh, EMC reviews, is we actually don't have really any EMC testing or didn't as of uh, last month, didn't have any EMC testing in house. So everything would just be reviewing uh, boards and schematics and then using a uh, another test house. And we're certainly not getting into EMC testing, uh, like regulatory side, that's another endeavor I do not want to go down, at least not right now. So we just got a decent spectrum analyzer and some other equipment to start doing some preliminary and pre-compliance testing in-house. And that is going to be, and this is where I have a ton of videos planned, I'm going to have a uh, series. It's gonna be something like testing EMC myths or EMC this or that. And I'll go through kind of the theory simulation and then actually testing it on a board. And I think that that could be pretty insightful, both myself learning and then also being able to actually show off like, hey, this in theory is supposed to fix this. Here I can show in a simulation it actually does. And on the bench, it also fixes it. So if that's something you're interested in, let me know. I have quite a few different ideas and I'm going to start working on uh, some board designs to show those off. But I'm pretty sure the next video that is going to be coming up is going to be on a new workbench. Uh, this is something I didn't think a lot of people would be interested in, but I did a poll on Discord and apparently people like that. So, uh, for the EMC bench, it's going to be kind of its own standalone unit. So I'm going to be working on that here in the next week or so. And then that will be the next video going up. Uh, and then once that's set up and then the EMC side is going, the next videos uh, should be some of the EMC, uh, some of the EMC topics. And then also I'm still trying to get around to some other backlog of video ideas that I've had in the past. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. I just wanted to go over a few things. If you have any thoughts about uh, ideas for future videos or anything that I discussed in this video, please let me know. And I thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.